In a world where success often seems instant and effortless, there are stories that reveal a different truth. Stories of persistence, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of a vision. This is the story of James Tyson, a man whose journey embodies the spirit of true innovation. A tale that begins not with triumph, but with failure, frustration, and a relentless desire to redefine the ordinary. Imagine a workshop, much like any other, filled with the buzz of ideas and the clatter of tools. Here, amidst the sawdust and sketches, a revolution in technology was brewing. A revolution born from a simple annoyance that many faced, but few dared to challenge. Vacuum cleaners, a common household necessity, were James Tyson's point of contention. Clogged bags, loss of suction, and inefficiency were the norms. Until Dyson decided it was time for a change. What followed was a 15-year journey of trial and error. More than 5,000 prototypes, each a testament to Dyson's unwavering commitment. With every failure, he inched closer to success, learning, refining, and reimagining the possibilities. His story isn't just about inventing a vacuum cleaner. It's about challenging the status quo, about believing in an idea when no one else would. It's about the power of resilience and the courage to keep going, despite the odds. And then success, the Dyson Vacuum Cleaner, a product that transformed an industry and symbolized the triumph of innovation over adversity. This is the legacy of James Dyson, a beacon for dreamers and doers, proving that the path to success is paved with persistence, passion, and the courage to dare. James Dyson's journey into the world of engineering began in Norfolk, England. Fascinated by design and creation from a young age, Dyson attended the Gresham School and later the Byam Shaw School of Art. His passion for engineering took a solid shape at the Royal College of Art, where he studied furniture and interior design. Dyson's early works were a blend of artistic vision and practical engineering, a fusion that would define his career. One of his first notable inventions was the ball barrel, an innovative take on the traditional wheel barrel, replacing the wheel with a ball for better maneuverability. This early success was just the beginning. Dyson's inventive mind was always searching for solutions to everyday problems. And it was this relentless curiosity that led him to revolutionize the world of vacuum cleaners. Like many, Dyson became increasingly frustrated with his conventional vacuum cleaner. Its performance dwindled as the bag filled with dust, losing suction and effectiveness. Each time he used his vacuum, Dyson questioned why no one had resolved this pervasive problem. Why must vacuum cleaners lose suction and leave behind dirt? The answer Dyson realized wasn't to accept the status quo, but to challenge it. His workshop became a sanctuary of doubt, a place where frustration transformed into inspiration. One day, while at a local sawmill, Dyson noticed how a large cyclone removed sawdust from the air. What if, he thought, this cyclone technology could be downscaled to work in a vacuum cleaner? This was the Eureka moment. Dyson began to sketch and conceptualize a vacuum cleaner that used cyclone technology to separate dust from the air, eliminating the need for a bag. 
He created prototype after prototype, each iteration bringing him closer to his vision. This wasn't an easy journey. It was marked by thousands of failures, yet fueled by a relentless drive for success. Night after night, Dyson toiled in his workshop, driven by the belief that there had to be a better way. His dedication was unyielding, his vision unwavering. James Dyson was on the brink of changing the vacuum cleaner industry forever. The road to innovation is often long and fraught with challenges. For James Dyson, this meant embarking on a painstaking journey of creating over 5,000 prototypes. Each prototype was a lesson, every failure a stepping stone to understanding. Dyson's workshop became a testament to perseverance, where each rejected design brought him closer to his goal. But this quest for innovation came with significant financial burdens. Dyson invested his own savings into his dream, risking everything on an idea many saw as unfeasible. The financial pressure was immense. Established companies turned him away, unwilling to invest in his radical ideas. The industry's rejection was a constant shadow over his ambitious project. Yet, it wasn't just financial hardship that Dyson faced. The journey was also an emotional odyssey, marked by skepticism from peers and industry experts. Doubts and criticisms echoed in his mind, but Dyson's resolve never wavered. He knew that true innovation often comes from challenging the status quo. The emotional toll was as real as the financial. Long nights in the workshop, the weight of uncertainty and the constant battle against skepticism took their toll. But Dyson's belief in his vision was unshaken. He saw potential where others saw impossibility. Each prototype a new hope, each setback a lesson to propel him forward. This journey was not just about inventing a product, it was about fighting against the tide, about holding on to a belief in the face of adversity. And so, through thousands of prototypes, through financial hardship and emotional battles, James Tyson forged a path to success. A path that redefined not just a product, but the very essence of perseverance and innovation. Unlike anything on the market, this model boasted a revolutionary cyclone technology. No bags, no loss of suction, and superior dust separation. Dyson had reinvented the vacuum cleaner. With this groundbreaking design, Dyson was ready to introduce his innovation to the world. He chose the UK and Japan for the initial launch, markets known for appreciating technological innovation. The reception, however, was mixed. While some were skeptical, others saw the potential of this revolutionary appliance. In Japan, the Dyson vacuum cleaner received a claim for its efficiency and design, winning the 1991 International Design Fair Prize in Seoul. In the UK, the journey was more challenging. The market was dominated by established brands, skeptical of Dyson's radical technology. But Dyson persisted, believing in the superiority of his product. Slowly, Dyson vacuum cleaner began to gain traction. Its performance and innovative design spoke for themselves. Consumers started to take notice and sales began to climb. It wasn't long before Dyson vacuum cleaners became a household name. The
product that was once a distant dream in a small workshop was now a symbol of innovation and quality in homes around the world. Dyson's story teaches us that true innovation demands more than just great ideas. It requires the tenacity to persist, the creativity to innovate, and the boldness to challenge the established, reshaping the world as we know it.